Question 12. Two parallel forces, each of magnitude F, uh, X on a rod of length phi D. Sure. Maybe important, don't know. Which diagram shows the position of the two forces which produce the largest torque in the rod? When I see a couple, hmm, two forces of equal magnitude and opposite direction, I think about couple already. So um, there are some forces that will not give you a couple. For example, for option B, there will be no rotation. If you have a ruler and you push your force in this direction, the ruler will accelerate upwards. So in this case, this torque is zero. Okay, this torque is zero. There's no rotation. Okay, in this case as well, there is also, depending on where you hinge the thing, but because they are not opposite direction, your torque is zero. Okay, so in this case, if you want the largest torque, we are looking at a couple so this one is not a couple. Miss, what's a couple again? Well, a couple is a pair of forces. Right here. Pair of forces in opposite direction. Preferably, I think it's the same magnitude. Not preferably, they should have the same magnitude. And they cause rotation. That is the definition of a couple. Can change status on Facebook. Joking, joking. Okay. To be in opposite direction. So B and C is not in opposite direction. Can throw away already, okay? <laughs> they cannot. Okay, so which one can cause more rotation? For couple, right? The torque is F times D. But this value of D is the perpendicular separation okay this is a shortcut lah. okay or you can just find based on the midpoint but doesn't matter so in this case the one with the greater separation is d because this separation is just d but this separation is 2d so this torque here would be f times d this torque here will be F times 2D. And anyway, this F here is magnitude of one of the forces. Magnitude of one of the couple. Don't take two, just take one. Okay, so this is the equation to find torque of a couple which is the general equation to find torque anyway you take force times perpendicular distance but for a couple you get to have a quick shortcut where you take one of the forces multiplied by the perpendicular separation or the perpendicular distance between the force so step one identify the couple if you want to use this equation directly you must make sure they are a couple to begin with okay so option b is not a couple option d option c is not a couple because they don't cause rotation, you know. You push like that or this rod will just move upwards. If you really want to rotate something, let's say you have a ruler on a table and you want to rotate the ruler. Pushing the ruler doesn't cause rotation. You actually have to flick it this way. So that flicking motion, that flicking motion when you apply a force this way, whether it's your pen or your ruler, let's say you want to rotate your ruler, you will rotate it in such a way where there is a downward force and then there is an upward force to cause that spinning rotation. So we need to cause rotation. Like a couple in a musical, need to sing and dance and rotate around some trees. Wait, that's a Hindustan movie, but you get the point. Cause rotation. Okay, so that's it for this question. 